Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Rough Mac in an MRM-80 loadout. We are just spamming missiles at the enemy and it's so much fun to play. The build is inspired by uh, Lydia of Thrace. Um, she gave me the build, a slightly different version of it and I tweaked it to something that I personally like more, um, but I can see some merits in her build too. Um, but let's talk about this, what, what I did before we quickly go over to the, to the variation here. As you can see, we are running two MRM-40 and uh, yeah the Roughneck uh, 1C has very high missile hard points even in the arm mount so it's all mounted in the shoulder and that makes it so that if you put the MRM on the shoulder mount here on the on the side torso and in the arm that you have a very great peaking profile so your horizontal exposure line is around here and the vertical no the yeah the vertical is, is here and the horizontal is here so left side peaking is great and you have the right side for shielding here we are running a light engine 280 and one double heatsink with seven tons of ammo which is kind of a nice rule of thumb here so usually i go for um a ton of mrm ammo for each 10 tubes and having eight t eight t tubes um you know, makes it so that eight would be it's the super safe side, but seven is still good, still more than enough with the magazine capacity. No, missile rack, it's called for the missiles. Um, on top of it, it's 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 fine. Now, Lily's build was a little bit diff uh, different. Um, she did something like this here. So she was skipping that, and she also had machine guns. Now, why why this? So first of all, she she likes her critical damage. <laughs> and um, arm mobility. So now, now you are missing out on a little bit of a horizontal peaking profile because you have to expose your mech completely if you wanted to peak uh, on, on either side. Um, but at the same time, again, you have full arm mobility, so you can you can direct the shots wherever you want. That's really cool, and you are not missing on so much vertical peaking potential here. And on top of it, you have some machine guns for shenanigans. But anyway, um, I, I like this more because I'm a purist. I, I, I just want to throw missiles at the at the enemies. And with uh, so many individual um, you know, sources of damage, you still have a great crit chance by just throwing missiles at the enemy. I think you do not need necessarily additional machine gun power on top of that. The skill build looks like this. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see. So we have the left side of the firepower tree, because obviously we want the missile nodes. And on the way, we got some cooldown and heat gen. We have full survivability, because, you know, it's a roughneck. And amplifying skeletal, skeletal density and armor hardening makes so much sense, because, you know, we have... Uh, armor and structure quirks. It's so good. You get so much value out of that. We have the torso speed here. Uh, because we are playing a dead side build, so we have the f uh, firepower in the left side and nothing in the right side. So we want to shoot our stuff and then shield with the right torso. Therefore, upper torso mobility comes in really handy. And um, we got the cool run maxed out here. The <laughs> problem the build has, uh, as you can see, we also have the double cool shot. The problem the build has is a little bit the heat management because... Um, I want to alpha strike all the time and firing more than one MRM-40 uh, generates ghost heat. It is manageable, it's not that much, but you will run hot eventually and with only one external or additional double heat sink on top of the 10 that are coming in the engine, it's sometimes difficult to manage that and therefore the double cool shot comes in super handy. So yeah, fire everything for less exposure time and only when you are hot you're just chain firing and to keep up the DPS. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing uh, the Grimplexers. We are playing Conquest. And yeah, it's not the best map for, for my build here. So usually I wanted to get into peaking situations. Terminally Desert would have been nice, or let's say the Mining Collective, or let's say HPG Manifold, or uh, the Borg, or something like that. But uh, this is gonna be problematic here, mostly because of the game mode. Uh, the game mode makes it so that, you know, it's uh, the whole map is being used. Th that's the thing. Which is great, actually. I, I honestly like that, because that, that makes makes for some some different game approaches, because again, the whole map is the battlefield. But again, it's not good for... Uh, being super efficient with the build here. Let's see what we can do anyway. I want to go to the Golf 8 area. Yeah, Golf 8 is, is gonna be fine because again, we are great at peaking here and we want cover to peak from. 
So yeah, we, we, we need that. And there's plenty of it in, in Golf 7 and Golf 8. <laughs> the thing is, um, you can't have cover for days if you don't have enemies to peek at, right? So th that's the random factor here. I really hope that the enemies are coming to the party and they will end up uh, in the Fox 7 area. But it seems like it. Look at that, there is a guy already. If you take a look at the minimap, there are people coming in. And yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and shoot them. Also, there's one guy in the center of the map trying to get Theta, so it seems. But yeah, that's a great target. Look at that. We've got a gargoyle here. Assault mechs are really good to shoot at because um, we spread with our damage here. But if the enemy is an assault mech with big, big hitboxes, it's not that big of a, of a, or yeah, big of a deal anymore. It's not that significant anymore. Annihilator, another great target. So yeah, we're gonna go over here. Hey, dude, don't run into me. Uh, and here we go. Just check. Oh, there. Mm, damn it. <clears throat> he moved. Okay. There's a gargoyle. And two, two others are down here. Alright, let's see if we can get an angle. There's the annihilator. Oh, yeah, he's watching. Also, I twisted to the wrong side. Just reflexes. I'm a left side twister. It was just reflexes down there. Alright. And by the way, if you can. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I am um, group shooting here. So we do get ghost heat. But it's not that big of a deal. Okay, right side. That's what we want to do. There's a gargoyle. And I like those high mounts. This is so great. Wait, can I shoot this guy? Yeah, we could. Atlas. So, UAV. Gargoyle is still there. I do not know why exactly. Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be a peaking situation here. And I think this is gonna ooh, stay a peaking situation for a while. We took a side torso, which was great. All right. Yeah, this annihilator is gonna die in, <clears throat> in a second. Uh, we're gonna focus on the atlas here, or whatever is on the right side. Let's not bother with the annihilator anymore. My team got that. That's no problem. I need an angle. Yeah, this is covered. I could push the atlas. Let's do that. You know what? He's damaged already, so might we might be able to take the kill here. Or maybe we're gonna help out against that guy. Yeah, that's that's more scary. More scary. Yeah, good English. Good English, Baradu. Great job, me. <laughs> More scary. Annihilator. Um, but yeah, now it's time to get some pressure on the Atlas there. Absolutely. Cool, it's working out. Come on. Oh, I have a sound bug. My missiles do not do not sound anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we got some we got some assault max da down. Not entirely yet, but almost. Hey. Ooh, AC20 to the center here. Uh, we're getting surrounded, Fox 8, left side. Behind us. Um, and we are pinned down by the right side long range dudes. That's not good. Let's take high ground again, guys. This is not good. Let's get out of here. Let's kill the Annihilator. Are we at it? I'm trying to get over here again. It's Irby. Mm, he destroyed the arm, which was super important. Bravo, Argoyle. Super valuable. Ah, nice jump there. That mm -hmm. saved his life. Okay. And I need to get to second line here. Or to somewhere where I'm not facing enemies directly. Acquired. Okay, let's go for the Aegis back. Shot. Machine guns! Bad! And I'm pinned. Okay, never mind. Ooh, let's try to get out of here. It's actually a very tough fight here. Interesting. Okay. I, I'm, I'm choosing a very weird path here, I know, but I want to make use of my back armor that I still have. <laughs> Help, please. No, I'm gonna die. Ah, no, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Alright, let's help out the team here. Alright, is he dead? No, he's not. Not yet. <laughs> How am I still alive? 41%, not even close. Still got all of my stuff intact. I thought I was so crit. Like, all of my weapons being destroyed already. Um, eight and five. This is the comeback, guys. There's a Kid Fox. Eat that, Kid Fox. Um, eight and six now. I need this guy. Yeah, who's oh, here at 41% as well. He's super damaged. Ah, uh, help. Oh, I d actually didn't realize that I was out of ammo already. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna cap. That's what I can provide now. <laughs> All right, guys, you got that. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, please don't kill me. Uh, twist with the right side. Uh, okay, he is, he's, he's kind of bound. Still alive. 
All right, you got this, guys. I'm gonna grab Vader and then we're gonna win. <laughs> one enemy alive. And I am such a one-shot. So good. But yeah, that's a cool thing about the build. You can actually uh, keep the weapons in the arms. Most of the people will shoot side torsos of a roughneck. And, um, you know, people are not specifically going for arms anyway. So you could also do that. If you want full mobility, go for the double double arm MRM launcher. Caps at this point. But man, that, that, that thing grinds yeah, through ammo like it's nothing. Maybe I should take out the AMS. I was pretty confident when I was doing some testings on the testing round. But... Maybe we need more ammo. I mean, not maybe, definitely, as you can see. We weren't having enough. That's interesting. So yeah, we got grab Vader. Hopefully, nobody's coming to contest me. But if so, you know, we, we at least know where the last enemy is. I have no ammo anymore, sorry guys. So, yeah, you, you gotta hunt him down, boys. <laughs> crazy, crazy build. But I like it. It's so Don't straightforward. Worry. It's simple. All it is... but one of our remaining mechs are also ammo dependent, and all but one of our remaining mechs have about one shot left in them. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> we have three missile boats alive. You with MRMs, one guy with 12 SRMs and four SRM-6 launchers, and one guy with nothing but worms. Whoa! All my armor is open as well, so I'm an assassin as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna I'm, we're gonna go, go to Kappa. And, oh my god, this is not gonna work, guys. We're gonna lose this game because we have no firepower anymore. Oh no! Wait, I didn't see the rifleman with racks. He's got some ammo left. Okay, we got at least the rifleman. Oh, we're gonna lose. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose okay. through the objective, but it doesn't matter. I was having fun in this round. <laughs> That's crazy. I really want to spectate on my other teammates now. That would be cool. Just to see what they are running and, and how, how low they are on ammo. GG, guys. That was fun. That was so fun, guys. Let's have a, have a look at the end score before we go over to the next game. Not like a panther can survive that for too long. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we, we got some damage done here. So we got zero killing blows, but 11 assists, two KMDDs, and 867 damage done with four components destroyed. First round over, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Plexus of all the Plexuses, the grimmest of all, and we are playing Skirmish. Skirmish is cool. I like Skirmish because Skirmish enables you some interesting strategies. You don't necessarily have to walk to the center of the map and wait there for the enemy to arrive. You can direct the tides of battle. You can go wherever you want to go, even to space. Since we are in space already. Are we in space? No, we are not in space. We are on the planet. But, you know, you get the point. We are space robot fighters here. So, yeah. Uh, we've got a mad cat. Really hope that Danger... No, that's not his real name. Danger is only his middle name. Uh, what would be his first name then? Hmm, <laughs> I, I don't know. But I really hope that Danger is, is catching up. So I'm gonna, gonna wait here. I just want to be able to to intercept anything that is trying to to get close to him. I want to be able to support, and uh, I cannot do anything on the front line there. So I, I'm not long range. I'm mid range. Therefore, yeah, we want to we want to wait until the engagement has started. Come on, dude, Mr. Danger, I'm waiting for you. Press W harder. You can do that. Do you do you know the good old days? Um, I don't know. Nowadays it doesn't seem to work anymore, but uh, when the batteries on your remote controls are low, then you just press the button harder and it miraculously works again. I don't know why that is, but it just works. Can we? Oh, there's a guy in the trench. Yeah, there he comes. Whoa, missile vomit. <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, just pressing the, the remote control harder makes it, makes it work again. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it, it's just, it's just, you know, how it works. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and shoot some people here. I really hope my, my people are not doing the NASCAR too hard. Most of the enemies are in Fox 6, uh, Fox 7, sorry, Fox 7, by the way. Let's not NASCAR this, guys. That's important in this situation here. We're gonna defend this spot. If you run around, then, you know, we, we have some problems. Because that's usually a problem when you run around and leave people behind. And then we're getting shot in the back and stuff. Instead, we want to shoot enemies. Let's let's do it. Also, I got plenty of missiles now. Like, all of the missiles in the world. Bravo, even Jaguar is cored. It's in the trench. I want to go ahead and kill that guy, actually. Let's go, boys. They have a UAV. 
on the trench, Golf 6. Um, there is the Ibn Jaguar. Yeah, team is responding to the call. Good job, da guys. Like to see that. Let's level the field a bit. Get that Ibn Jaguar down. Get that Javelin. Nope, maybe not. Um, but Ibn Jag is there. Yeah, good. That's exactly what we need here. Just some, again, field leveling. Uh, yeah, I was hoping he was running to the right side. Uh, can we? Ah, no, no. Missiles are not fast enough for that Javelin. The Javelin outran our missiles. That's a pretty speedy mech. Uh, assistance call from the right side. Okay. Watch out, they're approaching from G8. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's defend that here. Let's get high ground. Let's get vision, guys. Vision is so important here. Uh, speaking of it. <laughs> Ow. Ow. The good thing is that my team yeah, again responded to that, and that is so important. Good job, guys. I took damage, yeah, but you know what? That that uh, Marauder to see. Look at him! Look at him! He's almost down. Great job, guys. Okay, he comes to counter push, guys. Let's go in. Okay, that was not the best burst here. Uh, Urban Mag is not a good target, but you know we have to deal with him eventually, so might as well do it now. Uh, not high enough. Mm, no. Yeah, that's good. Oh, let's kill the Huntsman, guys. He's just pulling back. Uh, mm, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't care too much about UAVs right now. We have enemies to kill in front of us. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Alpha? Yeah, it's a stick. That's a Cicada running on the right side. Mm, that Alpha dude is almost down. Let's not waste too much of time into that. We got some Timberwolves and, on, and stuff on the right side. Fox 8. Sorry for running in front of you. That was my fault. Bot behind us. J7. Yeah, that's some light max. I don't like that. Mostly, mostly because my team gets distracted now. Mm hmm. And uh, our momentum got stopped now. Alright. Can we do that? I mean, yes, we can, but how do we do that? That's the. I panicked. I just wanted to get a shot off. And I didn't I didn't realize that he was completely standing still. I was like, okay, he's running. No, wait, no, okay. Flying Timberwolf. Dead Timberwolf. There's a guy here. Not anymore. Alright. Seven and five. This is not over yet, guys. Team has all the chances to come back from that, but not with that ATM dude. He's gonna die. Um, then there is an LRM and Rotary Roughneck. Alright, I really hope that the Locust is not making me his priority. Going for chain fire here because of the heat. Okay, there's the Rotary down and with an LRM only he cannot contest us anymore. Cool, now that worked. Alright, turning around now because of the Locust. Not really what I wanted here. Mm, is he coming again? Yes. I got him! I got him! <laughs> that worked out fine. Gotta be careful with the heat though. Okay. And we got the last one as well. Cool! I like that dynamic. That was interesting. Yeah, nice uh, nice shooting in. Nice again, nice responding. That, that was great. My, my team reacted to the tides of battle and uh, they reinforced where it was needed here. Um, it's not the craziest damage score in the world. And yes, I'm sorry, I dealt some team damage when I was calling for the push and then instantly fired. That was maybe a little bit of miscommunication. Don't do that, guys. Um, I instantly regret that decision when I did that, but yeah, it, it happens. Uh, anyway, we got uh, four killing blows and seven assists with three kills damage dealt and 635 damage on five components destroyed, though. And that was the MRM-80 Roughneck. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, then go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.